Hello guys, this is Game and Tech here back with another video, and today I'm gonna show you that how to configure PCSX2 in such a way, that it always configure itself for that particular game and launch that game with a single click. It doesn't matter how many games you have, you can configure each and every game to launch with those specific memory cards or settings which you prefer in PCSX2. So let's start our tutorial. Before we start, I want to tell you that please do not skip this video if you are not familiar with command line arguments. And please watch the video completely and carefully. So let's start now. It is very easy to keep separate configurations for games, or even for each game, with the use of command line arguments. The easiest way to do this is with shortcuts for each game. So the first step is open your PCSX2 folder, and create shortcuts of PCSX2.exe on desktop. In other words, you have to create shortcuts of PCSX2.exe equivalent to the number of games you have, for example if you have two games, then you have to create two shortcuts of PCSX2.exe on your desktop. Once you have created all the shortcuts, rename them with your games. For example if you have three games then rename all three shortcuts with your respective game names. The addition of a command line argument to the execution of PCSX2, can instruct changes to the way the emulator will function when started this time, through that specific shortcut. In other words your emulator automatically adapts itself for a particular game settings that you prefer. Which means you don't need to select memory cards or controllers settings whenever you boot a particular game. It automatically do everything by itself. The second step is you have to create some additional folders in your PCSX2 directory, so let's create them one by one. The first folder you need to create is config. The second folder which you have to create is my icons. Ok, so we have created shortcuts for our each game on desktop, and also created two additional folders in our PCSX2 directory. So let's move on to third step. So, now you have to open your PCSX2 and configure it for a particular game. In my case, I'm first going to configure it for God of War 1. You can configure it according to your taste. The graphics settings, the controller settings, the sound settings, GS settings, emulation settings etc. And not forget to select those specific memory cards and ISO of the game. Once you have done your all the configurations, close the PCSX2. Now you have to locate INIS folder. If you have used the PCSX2 installer, then the default location of the INIS folder is in my documents, PCSX2 folder. But if you have installed it through binaries, then the folder is in the location you have extracted it to. In my case I have used installer, so it should be in my documents, PCSX2 folder. Once you have located the folder, 
copy all the files present here. After copying the files go back to your PCSX2 directory, and open our newly created config folder. After that, create one more folder inside it, and name it according to your game. For example, I'm going to name it as, GOW1INIS. Now one important point to remember here is, you can name this folder anything you want, but it should not contain any space between letters, and at the end you have to type hyphen, INIS without space. Now here comes a question. What is INIS folder? So it is simply all the configurations or settings which you have saved in your PCSX2 from the last boot. So now let's move on to the step 4. Now again open your PCSX2 and configure it for your second game. In my case I'm going to configure God of War 2. Once it is done, close the PCSX2, and again open that INIS folder. After that copy all the files. Once done, open our newly created config folder, and create a second folder inside it, and name it according to your game. In my case, I'm going to name it as GOW2INIS. Follow these steps for all of your games. Once done, close everything and open your browser, and search for your game icons picture. I have already downloaded all the icons. Once you have downloaded all of your game icons, cut them from your download location, and paste them in our newly created My Icons folder. Once done, close everything and go back to desktop. Now, right click on one of your shortcuts which we have created previously. And then select properties. Under properties you can see a field, named target. Which is currently contains path to your PCSX2 emulator. Now click on this field and insert one space and then insert quotes. After that locate your game's ISO file. In my case it is located in my PCSX2 directory folder. Remember to copy the complete path to the file along with the ISO. After that come back to desktop and paste this path between quotes. After that leave one space and type two times hyphen, and then type CFG path, after that insert equals sign, and then insert quotes. After that locate our newly created config folder and open the respective configuration files of that game. In my case I'm first going to open GOW1INIS. After that copy the path of the folder, and paste it between the quotes.
Once done click on the change icon button. After that locate our newly created my icons folder, and select your respective game icon. After that save everything. Once done you can move this shortcut anywhere you want. Now repeat these steps for all of your games. Once done, you are ready to enjoy your games with a single click, so let's test it. As you can see, that now I can use both of my games without selecting and modifying PCSX2 again and again. One more thing, you may notice that when I have clicked on the shortcut, a PCSX2 window is opened automatically, so whenever you are going to change something in this window it does not affect rest of your games. I hope some people find this useful, especially those who are unfamiliar with command line arguments. Basically. This is just an idea of its usage. I personally had grown tired of having to readjust any settings, especially when I had changed them drastically to suit different games. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if yes, then please share this video with your friends. For any further problem and query refer to the below mentioned links. Thank you and have a nice day.